Let's see economics in action. Today it is restaurants. The restaurant industry isn't as tied to discretionary spending as it once was, but it's still very sensitive to changes in the overall economy. Customer preferences and physical distancing regulations are providing, at present, a driving force for these businesses. Restaurants are having to cover their fixed costs out of fewer covers than before, as capacities have shrunk. There has also been a shift in consumers' preferences for not being in crowded spaces. Differing customer preferences and changes in how they spend their money are creating trends that drive change in the industry, the economy also has internal impacts on restaurants. Factors like food and labor cost inflation are likely to continue to impact the restaurant industry in the foreseeable future. One thing that a lot of these businesses may not be able to withstand is another lockdown. But you could argue that few companies can continue to operate with no customers for months on end. Let's head back to the classroom for a lesson in value versus price. While most restaurant consumers are price conscious, they are not only focused on consumer cost. Restaurants that are perceived as providing a higher value offering are more likely to succeed than those that are just inexpensive. Customers have demonstrated a willingness to pay a little bit more for a meal that is significantly higher quality or has health benefits. This is because consumers don't just focus on the price, but in economic terms, it is the utility that they get from the meal. Utility is the total satisfaction received from consuming a good or service. This satisfaction combines things like the environment, atmosphere, and enjoyment we get from dining. Not simply the food. One problem for restaurants is food inflation. Food costs are just one of the expense lines that restaurants manage, but the increasing costs of key ingredients remain a challenge facing the restaurant industry. Food processing costs have spiraled up during the pandemic. Food inflation is a significant part of increases in the consumer price index. As we write this, all food is experiencing shortages of supply, a classic reason that drives up the price of goods. It may leave the industry looking for an affordable replacement for some products. Another thing we see is changing customer preference, with quick casual style growth. The quick casual sector of restaurants is positioned to continue growing. These restaurants are slotted between fast food and casual dining restaurants. Many offer high quality food focused in a narrow niche, and pricing that also falls between the two other types of restaurants. With more ethnic foods becoming mainstream and high-end chefs focusing on the sector, the sector has even more upward pressure. Another thing is the rising cost of labor and health care. The restaurant industry remains extremely sensitive to the labor market. The provisions of the Patient Protection and Affordable Care Act could require some restaurants to add health coverage for their employees, significantly increasing costs. This provision is a good thing in our view, but many employers complain about the increases in labor costs. Given that labor costs consume approximately one-third of a restaurant's total sales, any changes to the labor market such as an increase in the minimum wage could also impact the industry. At the heart of this is why people work. They generally choose jobs for wage factors, how much they are paid an hour, and non-wage factors, what benefits like medical insurance are offered. Finally, let's talk about government intervention. The government has provided assistance in many countries at this time. This stimulus checks and covering employees' salaries has enabled people to pay their rent and cover expenses like food. But consumer confidence has taken a large hit and spending has slowed. This lack of monetary flow greatly reduces the health of the overall economy. Gross domestic product will be down for years to come. From the reopening in China, we have seen a 5-10% to decrease. Governments have also had to borrow this money. This does not come for free but is a debt that will be paid for by our children for many decades to come through their taxes, or reduction of government services. Now is certainly a challenging time for restaurants, as well as the economy in general. Thank you for watching our video. Please like, subscribe and share. And comment below so we can clarify things for you.